Joined by offside coach Frank Calinato following today's series opening loss to William Mary. Coach, just thoughts on today's performance? Uh, you know, we ran up against some good pitching. They were throwing strikes and uh, more of the same for for my guys. I mean, not throwing strikes. I think we walked 11 guys uh, today uh, and you can't win baseball games when you put that many uh, guys on base. Uh, so, you know, we've got to do better. Coach, what were you seeing in William Mary's starting pitcher that was so hard for your own team to get on base? Well, I, I think he was mixing it up well, uh, but the most important thing he was doing was, was getting ahead of hitters and throwing strike one, right? And uh, it's something that we've had a tough time on the other end doing, but it just, you know, it, it just proves if, if you get ahead and you're able then, you know, to, to, to change speeds and keep the batters off, um, off balance, and that's what happened. You know, he got ahead, and then he was going to go. He went to some off-speed pitches, and you know, when you're behind in the count as a hitter, uh, it, it, it's not easy to hit. Coach Bailey went two for two with the home run off the bench. What did you see from him? Yeah, you know, I think you know, his he, he's great defensively at first base, and, and he's got some power. Uh, you know, he's a little bit of a streaky hitter, but. Um, you know, he, he has heart, he goes out there, he plays hard every single day, so it was nice uh, to see him get a couple of hits, and obviously, uh, you know, that, that's a confidence builder for him when you when he gets the, the home run uh, there in the last inning. Fayola looked like he had a strong first inning. What kind of happened there in the second inning? Yeah, it's, you know, he did. He had a strong first inning, and, and, and it seems like a lot of times that's the way it goes with him, you know. Um, he, he, he battles, and, and uh, it just seemed like in the later innings or, or the second, third, fourth, he just had a tough time throwing strikes. And again, when you, when you fall behind as a hitter, w when you're in counts, 1-0, 2-0 counts, it's a lot easier to hit. So again, we've got to attack the zone, and, and he didn't attack the zone in those, uh, in those later innings. Carpenter had some fine play, plays defensively behind the plate. What did you make uh, from some of the stops he was able to make on pitches today? Ruggerman's great. You know, he's he's going to be in the lineup uh, just about every single day. He's he's very good defensively, and uh, you know he works hard back there. And uh, the way the way we've been pitching, it's it's tough for a catcher, um, you know, to to play nine innings every single day, especially with all the pitches that we're throwing and the pitches in the dirt that he's blocking. So um, uh, that's why. Obviously, I, I like to take him out of the game when we're getting beat by uh, quite a bit, and I took him out there. Uh, but he, he's great defensively, and, and that's why one of the reasons why he's going to be in the lineup all the time. In the same vein as Ian's question about the first baseman, is there an update on Steve Harrington? No update yet. I mean, it looked like he twisted his ankle. Uh, it swelled up pretty good, so he had some ice on it. We'll see tomorrow morning how he feels. What adjustments need to be made going into tomorrow's game? Uh, again, I think we have to continue to preach to these pitchers, strike one, get ahead. Uh, that's a good, good team over there. Uh, so uh, if we fall behind, it's going to be another long day. So hopefully we can get ahead and uh, hopefully Mikolaj can, uh, can do that. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thank, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.